Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly find and change the keyboard you use on your Android phone. Let's get straight into it. I'm on my phone and looking at a page view of some of my apps. It's quick to change the keyboard used on your Google phone, but it can be tricky to do if you've not tried it before. The first thing we need to do, of course, is to open the keyboard settings for my phone. A quick way to bring the keyboard up on your phone is to tap on the Google search bar at the bottom of the page. But you could go to your Google Keep or Gmail app on your phone and write a new note to pop up the keyboard in just the same way. Once the keyboard is on the screen, you'll see there are a number of small icons shown at the bottom of the board. I'm interested in the small keyboard icon shown in the bottom right. Let's tap on that once to select it. This option allows you to switch between all of the keyboards that you currently have installed on your phone. You'll see, as well as the Google Gboard keyboard, which I'm currently using, I also have Microsoft SwiftKey keyboard installed on this phone. To switch to any of these keyboards, all I need to do is select it from this list. But what if I want to add a completely new keyboard and use that? That's straightforward to do as well. I'll start by returning to my home page with a view of the apps on my phone. On this page, you'll see the Play Store icon shown in the top right. If you can't find this icon, you can quickly search for it using the Google search bar shown at the bottom of the page. Let's tap once on that app to open it. If you want to add any new apps to your phone, including a new keyboard, you'll be able to download them from the Play Store. Let's start by tapping into the search option at the bottom of the app, and I'll quickly search for keyboard. On running that search, a list of apps is displayed. I'm going to choose the Facemoji app as an example, but this will work with any keyboard app in the same way. On opening the app page, an install button is shown. Let's tap on that once to download this app to my phone. We can open that app directly by tapping on the large blue open button. In order to use this app, we have to turn it on for Google. We can do that simply by choosing the Enable option on this page. We're then taken to our keyboard settings, and we can make the keyboard active just by tapping the small button next to its name. Returning to our phone home page, let's open our keyboard again. And as before, I'll tap on the small keyboard icon. You'll see the keyboard we just added is now shown in that list and can be selected. I hope you found this woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.